back everyone to Let's Play Bioshock 2. You're here with Randall Lafeev, otherwise known as Drax Craven, when he's, you know... Not yet, Sigma! I am still crunching the numbers! Oh, God damn it! When he's given this game a little bit of a second chance. Just a little bit. Watch out! Thanks. I, uh... I didn't know I should, uh, you know, watch out for this guy. Couldn't, couldn't have suspected to not get caught Yo, by the bruiser. There's one way into the corner Got it. wall can't lock off. The maintenance access shaft. Sorry to send you down through the pit. Can we, all we've got. We're going into the Jeffrey's tubes. We're going into the Jeffrey's tubes. Fucking Star Trek level of oh, god damn it. God damn it. Fuck. Star uh, screw it, I don't care about the extra item. Goddamn Star Trek levels of Jeffrey tubes. You know, the Jeffrey tubes. Julian! Whenever and Richard! Oh, I was hoping we were gonna get Oh my god! We have we have the trailer park boy turrets! Julian and uh and Ricky! Oh ho ho ho! Oh now we're cooking with grease. Sweet rivets, bro. Alright, um Let me guess. The first aid kit this thing dropped got thrown all the way over the place. Yeah, probably. I'm just gonna break it. So, yeah, maybe this game's not as bad as I. Uh, th this expansion is not as bad as I think it is. It's not good. Uh, then again, like uh, I never thought it was awful. I just didn't think it was great. I didn't even think it was, you know, it's six out of ten. If I had to put a number on it, and and I. What is driving you into the core, Sigma? What compels you to defy the thinker's equation? Really, I just want to meet the thinker. The thinker sounds like a cool dude, you know? Yoink. Thinker's a cool guy. That's not Electro Bolt. It's a thing that's supposed to be cool, but that I don't give a fuck about. Oh no! Oh, I could've used telekinesis, but I thought I'd take a leap Your instead. Love for Porter and for Tenenbaum? You hardly know them, Sigma. You have never even met them. That's a fair point. Are you trying to set me up for something? Did I accidentally replace Booze Hound with Fountain of Youth? Oh well. I mean, like, if he's trying to set me up for something, like, I kind of don't care. Well, what did I miss? What was the uh, ever so clever twist? Like, every Bioshock game's gotta have a twist. Came for Potter long ago. Now he has reappeared in Minerva's den. A man sent to Persephone does not just open his cell door and walk home. You know what? That's a fair criticism that I hadn't, I hadn't considered. But what are you getting at, Wall? Why don't you just tell me? Then again, the brain boost probably precludes him. Can't can't speak straight anymore. Uh uh, can't think straight anymore. Very much like myself. Jeez. I feel like I have too much stuff. I have tried to keep you from the heart of the machine. You did not listen. When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. Okay. Uh, I... Okay, so apparently I'm someone else. Spo shockingly. What? Raptured Departure Protocol. Well, Thinker, Ryan's secret police are on their way. They cooked up some kind of evidence against me. Treason, they say. I've heard what happens to folks who get disappeared and come back as one of those metal daddies. So, I'm leaving you with something to cogitate on in my absence. Inputting Rapture Departure Protocol. Figure a way to get yourself out of this city, Thinker. You've got to live on, no matter what happens to me. You'll find a way. Right. Prisoners in Persephone, male prisoners at least, are turned into big daddies. And if that's the case, then I am Porter. And that means Porter was the Thinker the whole time. Alright, that's pretty cool. 
not really cool, but it's pretty cool. You're in the thinker's core. The code printer is upstairs in the control booth. Top level access only. You'll need to confirm your genetic identity to start the printing process. It's okay, thinker. You don't have to deceive me anymore. Then again, he might not know that. There are no little sisters here. Oh! I can nab some quick upgrades right before the end. This seems a little cruel. Like, I spent all of my Adam already, and to be like, oh no, there's a few more health and Eve upgrades that you didn't get. Oh, I'm sorry. It's kind of lame. Not incredibly lame. Like, it, it, it's not, not making anything worse, but just, I don't know. It just seems like a not cool thing to do. Oh, well then. Hmm. Still, the thinker. Alright, the thinker looks pretty cool. Alright, Ricky, Julian. Julian, don't drop that drink. Let's let's head in. Print out that so this is the thinker's grand plan to escape. It can't escape. Looking at it now, that makes so much sense. It's too big. What? Porter, you have forced my hand, you see? The thinker is shut down. That leaves only two variables. You and me. The equation ends here. Thinker, no! Herr Sigma, it is Dr. Tannenbaum. With the computer disabled, Minerva's den is falling to pieces. No pressure regulation, no air supply. Oh, shit. You must defeat Vol and bring the Thinker back to full power. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Come on, who wants a piece? Okay, they want a piece. And they're willing to break glass to do it. Ow. Oh, Ricky. Stay out of my way. You been drinking, Ricky? I can smell the liquor on you. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Where you going? Where you going, big guy? Oh shit. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Who's left? Who's next? Oh wow. They really wrecked that thing. Oh fuck! Where did you come from? Game? Oh nice! I think that's the first charge I've ever successfully defended myself against. Oh yeah, let's get the shotgun. Gotcha. Your moment has come, old friend. I stand before you, the trusted partner who put a knife in your back. Do was... not disappoint me. What? What do you want from me? Let's blow him up. Let's blow a wall up. Ow. How much brain boost did you take, buddy? I blew you up and you don't care. Manly man, you don't give a fuck. Solid slug, to the brain! What is- Oh, that's just the stuff on his head. I thought that was his head. After I had blown it up with rockets. Administrator punch card, pocket lint, and a chewed up pencil. I'll, I'll keep these for later. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Julian. Julian's fine. Where's Ricky? Ricky? Oh, man. Trailer Park Boys for life. The Trailer Park Boys is the, quite possibly the best cautionary tale I've ever seen. All right. Let's hurry up. No time to dawdle. Got to bring Thinker back to life. Woo! Yeah, S -s spoilers. Welcome back. The system is ending personality duplication. Subject Charles Milton Porter. Thinker, you're good. 
You see now why I let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. We needed a voice that would be familiar, comforting, your own. With that copy of the Thinker's programming, we may return to the surface and use it to restore you to the man you once were. Please, collect the printout and meet me at your bathysphere dock. Take your time, Mr. Porter. I will be waiting. This all makes sense. She needs the Thinker to cure Adam Sickness, if she, and if she can cure Adam Sickness, then she can undo the Big Daddy conditioning, all sorts of stuff. She can undo everything, and that would be wicked cool. And so that explains why Jack gets unbig daddified at the end of one, two, three, the Thinker. Uh, uh, at the end of the Bioshock one ending. Now I've got to ask: Was this all? Oh, excuse me. Was this all just to justify that part of the ending? Because. I was willing to accept that Jack got unbig dadified as just sort of like, a, oh, whatever, it's part of his happy ending. Then again, I guess I did complain about it. I guess I guess I just didn't need a gigantic DLC ending to, to justify that. They could have just as easily said, I'm Tenenbaum and I made it to the surface and I tracked Jack down and I fixed him up as best as I could. And I'd have believed, without a second, with a second doubt, that after a few years, Tenenbaum would have been able to fix Jack. Like, that's just, that's just science right there. Oh, I don't have any weapons anymore. That's a slick transition. Cool. That being said, number one, why is there a Vita chamber down here? Number two, why is Porter's office fucking in a gigantic cavern under the ocean? Pearl. I believe I'm done feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the thinker. I am set to test the personality duplication function. Target personality, Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <clears throat> Starting test. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Milton. How? How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. But what's the matter, Milton? Oh, God. Don't you still love me? Oh, God. I... Oh, God. I said... I said end function, Thinker. Now! It's over. Point number one, I think it's really cool that Milton has a color television, because, you know, he's the kind of guy who would be able to invent color TV. Number two, I I, I, I believe that the, the thinker has capacity for legitimate feeling, or at least a facsimile of it. I can't imagine how sad and disappointed the thinker must be. Oh, the, wow, the paintings, turn, uh, the photos turned down. Anyway, how disappointed the thinker must be in itself for failing Porter like that. Still, M uh, Milton, it's probably best that you put the past behind you. You know, move on to a new day or something. You're in Rapture, there are plenty of foxy dames down here, if you know what I mean. Hey, most of them are all spliced up or dead, but you know, whatever. Get the duct tape ready. Sorry, that, that joke was in poor taste. Um... And then here's the Pearl Shrine. Although, why it's here and why they put such a point on it, I don't know. Wedding invitation. Wow. Learn of the death of your wife, Pearl. I hereby extend to you my heartfelt sympathy in your great loss. Very truly yours, Prime Minister Winston S. Churchill, January 1940. Damn. Huh. So uh, this 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 hit me in the feels a little bit. This was a satisfying conclusion. That being said, the thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. 
it could not leave you behind. Please, step up to the console and begin the Bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work ahead of us. Although, like, so the first... The first twist... Bioshock 1's twist properly recontextualizes all of the actions of your... All the events and actions that your character took and turned it into something different. You didn't do anything wrong, you just you didn't realize what, what the true nature was. Bioshock 2 like tells you you're wrong. It's just like, oh hey, no, you're you're actually people. This one, um, it's much it's much tamer. It's much it's much safer. It sort of recontextualizes things a little bit, but the scale of Minerva's Den is so small that it, and so very personal that like, that's fine. But just, sorry, the 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 twist to Bioshock One just like blows your mind on how you think video games work and this one was just a much more smaller scale deeply personal twist and that's fine data readouts data tapes vials of atom i imagine that gun was used for protection oh wow they actually remembered tenenbaum's pistol because she had it in bioshock one but is that jack's wrench is that the wrench also jesus christ Number one, those are awful cigarette textures. Number two, there are an awful lot of them. But, yeah, I, uh... I wonder why she kept the wrench. Or if it's just, like, generic melee weapon for fending it off. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, Jack's probably really important to her. Whether or not you saved I or killed her darlings. Pearl. And the fall of Rapture. They took my memory... My voice, everything that made me a man. But nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye. I wanted to save you. I couldn't resist trying to bring you back the only way I knew how. But you didn't want that. I know it now. And I think I'm finally ready to let you go your way. I stand here with the sun on my face. And it's almost like I can feel you smiling. Goodbye, Pearl. I love you more than I've got words for. Wow. Often. She died at 23? That's... That's too young. Oh, wow. Uh, that being said, I wonder if... Uh, if the little sisters affect that ending at all. I don't know. Uh, trying to put a moral spin on it in such a in such a small circumstance would feel I don't know off still still uh, you, you could imagine that if you just start eating all the little girls then the thinker is like yes bring me back to life and then he wait what Rick Wasserman as brute oh crawler ducky buttons and heady got it the the, the voice actors for all the different uh, different uh, Minerva's den workers also that was fucking short credits Jesus um, so that's, that's it for Bioshock 2. We, we, we're done. We're done with the game. We're done with Bioshock 2. We're done with Minerva's Den. Heads up, Minerva's Den and the Protector's Trials cost, like, it cost, uh, Minerva's Den cost 10 bucks with the, with the Protector's Trials. And, like, I don't know. If you're really hungry for more Bioshock, yeah, grab it, I guess. Grab it on sale. Like, definitely grab it on sale. I'd say it's worth five. I'd play this for five, but... 10? That's too much. Anyway, that's it. That's it for Bioshock 2. We're done. Game over. I can move on to something else. It is now time for death. Someone recycle my my atom stream into something. Anything. Splice me into a clam. I don't give a shit anymore. Anyway. Next time on Let's Play. Next time on Rain of channel. So I'm going to start my new project. And I've also got an anniversary project that I have planned. It's going to be something really different, and you might not be interested, but that's okay. It's going up in tandem with, with my next project. So um, so if you don't like the anniversary thing, just, like, don't watch it. Like all of my videos. I don't, I don't really care about Battle Realms. Okay, then don't watch that one. As a matter of fact, nobody watched that one. I, d I guess I just did that one for me. But um, that's that. Uh,